Welcome to this edition of Backstage Pass with Leah Chang. I'm your host, Leah Chang. One highlight of my summer was photographing Ailey Moves NYC, the Ailey organization centerpiece of a summer of free Ailey programming at Manhattan's Little Island, where Ailey Arts and Education hosted a workshop on Revelations, Alvin Ailey's American Masterpiece, which has inspired generations through its powerful storytelling and soul-stirring spirituals. This is the second year that the Ailey organization has presented their free summer dance celebration in all five boroughs. Ailey Moves NYC featured performances by the rising stars of Ailey 2, classes and workshops led by teaching artists from the Ailey School's renowned training programs, Ailey Extensions dance and fitness classes for the general public, and Ailey Arts and Education and Community programs which fulfill Alvin Ailey's belief that dance is for everybody. And we are celebrating 65 years. Give it up. This ballet, listen to these facts. This ballet, Revelations, was choreographed in 1960. It has three sections, three. The first section is called Pilgrims of Sorrow. Second section, take me to the water. The third section, move, members move. In the first section, the colors that they are wearing. Shades of brown, colors of the earth. Mm. In that second section, the colors that they're wearing. White, blue, white for purification, yes. And in the last section, move, members move. Sunshine, yellow. Yellow, yes.
that I've been stored. View, short for review, yes? For somebody to talk about, to discard you. I've been viewed and I've been stored. I've been talked about, shows as you've been born, yes? But I ain't gonna lay my lizard down, yes? Which symbolizes that there is hope, yes? We all have that feeling of sorrow, yes? But we have all know we have the tools to come out of it, yes? And that is what this game speaks to. Everybody, here we go. Revelation, the first section. Pilgrims of Sorrow, I bid you. First group, are you ready? Here we go. Chest up to the ceiling. Sky. Did <laughs> it. Let's hear it. Chest up to the sky. Five, six, seven, eight. It's I've been buked and I've been scorned. Coming back up. I've been buked and I've been scorned. Everybody let the right elbow down and chill. Or bring that left one in drink. Just follow me. We go. I've been buked. And I've been scorned. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I'm just singing. Or oh, here we go. <laughs> Cross the wrist. Sound coming good, sound on good. down. Let me see those wings coming out of that back. Now scoop it up from the ear. Yeah, you got it, you got it. Just follow those hands. Keep it going. Uh, keep it going. Keep it going. And right when you're there, you're going to open shut. And shut. And shut. Oh, wait a minute. Everybody, it looks good to me. How you feeling, Little Island? Listen, one more time, over to your right. Looking at that right hand, left hand coming up that real quick. Beautiful. Easy, coming back to the center. Other side. Take your time. Looking at the left, let that right hand slide up in the face. Drop that right elbow. Beautiful, easy circle, follow our time. Fantastic again. Wings coming out of that back. Beautiful, scoop it up, hands in clear position. Take your time. Yes, and now scoop it back up again. Yes, see those hands. An easy open sharp to stop. From the top, you're uh, reaching up and wait in the water. Why is it, as dancers keep trying to sing in the water, children? Wait in the water. Ba da 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 be ba ba da da. Right foot. Boom, ba ba do ba. We're going down to the water, everybody. Ba da dee da ba da. Boom, ba ba dee. Here he comes. A ba da da. Um, boom, ba ba da da. That's the beat, y'all. That's the beat. You have this finish. D, da, a d, da, d, da, d, da, a d, da, d, da. And we're there. So let's put it all together with the music. Here we go. One, two, five, six, two, two, five, six, seven, eight. I like it. Back it up. Shall we go from the top? Yes. Here we go. From the top, sway right to left. Let me hear those claps. Here we go. One, two. Hey. Wait a minute. New York, you're showing out. Last set and a bath. Come easy, try to 
For nearly six decades as a practicing artist, Chinese-American artist Arlen Huang has quietly collected art. Just Between Us, a group exhibition presented in partnership by Think Chinatown and Pearl River Mart, highlights some of these works which were either purchased or amassed through art swaps, friendly exchanges between fellow artists. Just Between Us is currently on view at Pearl River Mart Gallery, located at 452 Broadway in Soho through September 10th. I sat down with Arlen to talk about his exhibitions. What was the inspiration for this particular exhibition? Well, uh, about four, five, maybe six years ago, um, um, a, a Asian American historian was at my studio and and I blurted out that my art is more Asian American than it's ever been. And the minute I said that, I said, why did I say that? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> so ever since I've been trying to figure that out. And it uh, it culminated with uh, asking Howie Chen and Daniel Wu to help me put this show together. You're all in this show. Yes. So this show is about us and is by us and for us. Um, I see through Asian American eyes. Uh, for the uh, for the twentieth century artists that are here. <laughs> uh, this show is for us to bear witness that we were there, uh, we fought a lot of causes, we fought against each other, 
and we celebrated and cried uh, together. Uh, and we're still here. Yes. For the 21st century artists, or you young kids, this show is for you to take measure. Uh, you can embrace it, you can reject it, it's all good. The only ask is for you to raise the bar for the next generation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the gallery, there is an arc of Asian American connectiveness which spans six generations. Um, in, this, in, this, in this gallery, there are people who are, who are very close to my heart and I keep them in my heart. Chris Ajima, Fei Chu Matsuda, Fei Chang, Takashi Yanagida, PJ, Alfredo Hernandez, Saul LeWitt, Tony Wong, Martin Wong, and Corky Lee. And Yoshio Kishi. Yoshio Kishi. We have history. We stand on rich earth. Hi, I'm Arlen Huang, and we're here at Pearl River Mart in Soho in their art space, and we're going to be taking a tour on this show called Just Between Us is an arc of Asian American connectivity which spans six generations. Uh, the first generation is here. This is my grandfather's menu from uh, his restaurant in Bangor, Maine in 1926. Uh, next to him is a, a crate label of uh, oranges from California. And this was a, a Chinese owned orchard and his name was Charles Gim. When I was a kid, my mother and grandmother would always talk about these, these oranges, which were the sweetest oranges for Chinese New Year's. And they would also say, they would always say, oh, you gotta get the chali gim cha, chali gim cha. Always that, you know? I said, what is that, man? And one day, I was in my grandmother's basement and I saw this crate. And the crate had this label on it. And this is chali gim oranges. Sweet Edison oranges. Uh, next we go to uh, Yellow Pearl. Um, this is when my life really changed when I, I went to the anti-war march and this is 1970, 1970. And the first thing I looked for is the Asian Coalition banner. And of course there was one. And that's how I got to meet many of the young radicals during that time. This is, a, this is a picture taken by uh, Victor Huey and his, his historical photograph. There are so many people from the movement in this photograph. And this led to basement workshop. And this is uh, 54 Elizabeth, the first basement workshop. And this is, this is uh, of course, myself and Lillian Ling, uh, who became uh, or my wife. Below is 54 Elizabeth with uh, uh, other members of Yellow Pearl. Uh, that's Fei Chu, Lydia Tom, Takashi Yanagida, and in the back is Lisa Abe. One of my big influences in art in my, right from the beginning was my mother's best friend, Edith Liu. And of course, in Chinese, you know, she's anti. So she was always, we always called her by her Chinese name, and it was O Ying Gu. She was the one that always encouraged me to do art. Um, she was probably one of the biggest influences in my life, including my mom. Uh, this is O Ying Gu's watercolor. And this is a letter she sent me when she was very, very ill. This is a photo of Fei Chang by Henry Chu. Uh, Fei is, is the heart and soul of basement for so many years. And this is the most joyous picture that I've ever seen of Fei. This is a poster here of the first Yellow Pearl concert. Uh, of course, it doesn't have the date, but it was 1971. 
The poster was done by uh, Alan Okada. This would kind of move forward when, um, when life became much more political and a, a bunch of us were uh, sort of working with these uh, uh, radical communist groups. Uh, for this one group, uh, a few of us were, were in the, uh, the, uh, the culture committee. And what we basically did was did posters for them. Yeah. And this is a poster by John Wu. Uh, it was part of a, of a poetry reading uh, session they had at uh, 99, 199 Lafayette, another iteration of, of Basement Workshop. This one poster is uh, posted by Pietro Petri. And the image is of Jessica Haggard Onina, and the one on the left is uh, Colin Lee. So that, that's a photo that he's taken from his father's negatives. Now his father, Kim Lee, was the photo photographer of San Francisco Chinatown. Mm. Every family had their, their photos taken by, by him. Uh, so this was part of a John Wu production at Basement Workshop. It was a series of, I can't remember how many artists, but it was all silk screens and they were all put into a box. Mm. And the next one next to Nina is uh, uh, Leland Wong, uh, one of the greatest silk screeners coming from San Francisco Chinatown. And this one is of uh, uh, the Neomachi Street Fair. And he did essentially all the street fairs for, uh, I guess, around 27 years. Uh, the, the, the little portrait here, uh, Lily and I did for our thank you cards for uh, our wedding. So she drew me and I drew her. And the, the postcard there is from uh, uh, my friend, the artist Saul Witt. And that is a uh, postcard f for the uh, birth of our first son, Ray wow. Wong. And, and this little colorful vertical is a painting by Ray in 1986. He was about uh, five years old. Wow. And this is, oh, there's a little glass piece on top of this corky leaf photo. And that wasn't one of Joey's glass pieces. Hmm. So this is the family section right yeah, here? Yeah, this is the family section. This is a photo by another good friend, Henry Lau. Uh, we call him Uncle T. And so when we did this show at the, the Bari poetry, poetry Club, Ray took that photo and did that uh, invitation. Yeah, so this, this show in this space is uh, sponsored and organized by Pro River Mart and Think Chinatown. Think Chinatown uh, has a pretty big role in this. Uh, we're going to have a, uh, a book talk there because this is this is Pearl River. Pearl River also has a, a store and a food store at uh, Chelsea Market. In the beginning, Joanne, who is the president of the company, said, you know, we should do a show at, uh, at, at uh, Chelsea also because she's on the board of the entire uh, walkway there. And she says, there's spaces there, there's, um, there's columns, and they're doing something with the outdoor tables. I saw that. And that was very exciting for the artists. Yes. Whose work is on those outside tables. Yes. I get an email from Danielle saying that, well, she works for A4. Uh, and she said, uh, Lisa Goat, who's the director of A4, said, uh, Danielle, you can work on it as part of your job and A4 oh. will do the installation. So they said, you know, what if we uh, romanticize it? Let's turn the lights and let's make them red. Let's turn up, down the lights. And, um, and she said, you know, this actually kind of looks like in the mood for love. Mm -hmm. the, the type of lighting, the, the shadows. Mm -hmm. So we just, yeah, we took off on that. Okay. So that, that little nook is really not about the paintings. It's about the mood. <laughs> So yeah, there's different mediums. There's glass, there's sculpture, there's uh, prints, there's painting, uh, installations, um, and, all, and all kind of things. I mean, I personally always encourage artists to change mediums, uh, especially change mediums that you don't know anything about. Because when you enter a new medium, it is fresh.
You don't have any of the baggage. And you can just boom. Whoa. Okay, thank you. All right, here we go. Come on, let's eat. <laughs> thank you for joining me for this edition of Backstage Pass with Leah Chang. Until next time.